This is Jimmy Gilstrap. Today, he's here to face Gina Butler. At stake, the right to play for today's jackpot of $1,000 on America's most exciting musical matchup, 10 seconds. And now, here's America's musical maestro, Dan Miller. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. We're glad you are here today for 10 seconds. If you were here yesterday, young Sam Ford really took us to the cleaners. He hit us up for $7,500 in cash, a lot of prizes, close to eighteen dollars or $19,000 when you total it all together. Pretty exciting stuff, and that means today two brand new players have joined us to go for a $1,000 jackpot. So let's say hello to them right now. First of all, here with us today from Anderson, South Carolina, Jimmy Gilstrap. Hello, Welcome, man. sir. How are you doing? Good to have you here with us today. Good to be here. Multi-talented guy here. Singer, songwriter, own your own business. Yes, a poster shop, yeah, furniture up poster. So do you sing while you're doing that? And... Well, I sing if I'm making money, and I'll hum if I ain't. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> they want to hear the words, they got to right. pay up. Right. Yeah. Pay up on yes, that. I know he has two children that he's proud of as yeah. well. Let's say hi to them. Jessica and Teresa. Watching Teresa today. today. Have a good game today. We're Thank glad you. to have you here Thank with us today. Good luck to you. Also, our other new contestant here with us today from Quartz Hill, California, Gina Butler. Hi, hi. Gina. How are you? Good. How are you? Nice like to see you here today. Thank you. Tell me where Quartz Hill, California is. Quartz Hill is about 60 miles north of Los Angeles. Uh -huh. It's a little farm town, kind of. Now you're Desert. a snow skier as well. Mm -hmm. So do you go to Big Bear or up to Mammoth? Lake Tahoe. Oh, up to yeah, Tahoe. We have a house in Tahoe. So wow. about three times uh, the season, the winter season. So. It's great skiing. Oh, it's beautiful. Heavenly is wonderful. Yeah. It's all set to play it. today? Yeah. Let's just go ahead and do this, shall okay. we? We have round one of this game called 10 Seconds coming up. We're going to crown a new champion today. We'll be right back after this. All set for round one of 10 Seconds. Two new players here, as you know, Jimmy and Gina, going for this $1,000 jackpot. And you remember the idea here of the game is to identify song titles in our nine categories. So, for round one, new players, let's take a look at our new board up here and see what we have. Name calling, a lost love, mind over matter, to whom it may concern, bad girl, leave of absence, everybody polka. I love it. Honky Tonk Moon and Girly Show. Great categories up there on the board. Always keep in mind the title of the category is a clue to the title of the song that's contained within that category. Well, we tossed a coin before we got started here, and Gina won that coin toss. She's in the champion position over here. She's going to select the first category. Gina, what do you like? I'll take name calling. Name calling. Upper left-hand corner of the board, 15 points on this one. And I can tell you in round one, our categories range from 10 to 50 points. The higher the point value, the more difficult. The question 15, pretty easy to start us off. May of 1990, a male hit the country charts with his song, taking it to number two. Because Gina selected our first category, it's up to Jimmy to decide how much of the song we hear up to 10 seconds. What do you say? One second. He's not messing around at all. One second, he says. So Gina has a decision to make. She can try this or have Jimmy go for it. Whatever player tries to identify the song, if they do it correctly, they get the points. Incorrect, their opponent gets the points. And Gina, what do we say? I'm going to take it. Are you? Good. Yeah. I like this. For 15 points, why not? 1990, name calling. Play it. When I call your name. That's it, Vince Gill. That's how you do it. That's how you play the game. She gave me the correct answer. She picks up those 15 points, and that's how the game works. Then whoever's trailing selects the next category. Jimmy, let's find something we like up there. Okay, let's uh, try Honky Tonk Moon. I like that. 30 points behind that. Here's the clue. February 1992, a duo hit the country charts with this song, taking it to number one. 1992. Gina, you decide the time. I'm going to give him seconds? two seconds. Two seconds is what she says. Jimmy, what and is I'm going to let Gina go for that. Okay. Are you really? Oh, Here yeah. we go. 1992, Honky Tonk Moon, Gina. Mm -hmm. Play it. Uh, neon Moon. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Kind of nerve wracking, isn't it? Yes, that's it. Books and Done with Neon Moon. That's the correct answer. 45 over here. Jimmy wishes he had that one back. Let's go to the board. Sure do. Let's go with uh, Lost Love. Okay, on the top row in the center, 40 points on this one. July of 1964, a girl group hit the pop charts with this song, taking it to number one. Way back in 1964, Gina, how much time do you think on I'm this I'm going to give him one second. I'll go for that. Oh, good. All right, here we go. 1964, Lost Love. 
Supremes back in 1964. Well, those 40 points go over here to Gina. She's putting on the heat here. 85 over here. Jimmy's going to the board. Find a good category, Jimmy. Okay, mind over matter. Top row, right side, 50 points. Well, we think this one's going to be tough. Let's find out. April, now 1970, the year. A male hit the country charts with this song, taking it to number three. Gina, back in 1970, how much time on this one? How many mm, seconds? I'll give him five seconds. She says five seconds. I okay. think I'll let her go for that one, too. You want her to do this yeah. one? Okay, here we go. 1970, Gina. Okay. Mind over matter. Play it. I love you so much that I can't leave you. My mind hurts. No, that's from thinking too hard, probably. Yeah. Heart over mind. mind. Mel Tillis with that song back in 1970. Those 50 points go over here to Jimmy. Now it's 85 to 50 over here. Again, you go to the board for me, Jimmy. Bad girl. Right in the center of the board. 45 points on this one. August 1962, a male hit the country charts with this song, and he took it all the way to number one. Way back in 62, Gina, how many seconds do we need? I'm going to give him six seconds. Six seconds, Jimmy. Then again, I'm going to let you go for it, Jim. Okay, okay, he wants you to do it. Six seconds, a lot of time. Listen okay. to all of it here. 1962, Bad Girl. Okay. Play it. I told Mary about us. I told her about our great sin. Mary, my love. Devil Woman. Devil. Marty Robbins. Oh. Devil Woman. She is a bad girl. 45 points go over to Jimmy. That strategy has worked. He's going into the lead. He has just gone into the lead. 95 to 85 over here. Gina, that means we pick out the next category. Okay, I'll do leave of absence. Okay, on the right side of the board, in the center, 40 points on this one. February, now the year is 1963. A female hit the country charts with this song, and she took it to number eight on the charts. Jimmy, we're coming to you now. You control the clock. What do you say? Well, let's try six seconds. Gina, we have a decision to make. She wants to do it. All right, here we go. 1963, Leave of Absence. Play it. If you've got leaving on your mind. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Patsy Cline, back in 1963, she goes back into the lead. 125 to 95. Three categories left, Jimmy, round one. Uh, to whom it may concern. Okay, on the left side, 15 points should be very easy. Keep that in mind. April, now 1989, a female hit the country charts with this song, took it to number nine on the charts. Gina, we're back over to you for the time. How many seconds? I'm going to give him three seconds. Three seconds, Jimmy, 1989. What do you think about it? I'm going to let her go for it. Okay, here we go, Gina, back over to you. 89 the year, to whom it may concern. Okay. Play it. Dear me. That's it. Roy Morgan. Dear me. 15 points. She adds to her total. It is 140. Now to 95 over here. Down to two categories in round number one. Jimmy. Everybody plays. No, everybody. Everybody poke up. Yeah. That is a tongue twister, isn't it? I had that trouble too. 20 points on this one. Sorry. July 1960. A male hit the pop charts with this song, taking it to number one. How much time? I'll give him four seconds. Four seconds, Jimmy. What do we say from 1960? Mm -hmm. Then again, I'm going to let her go for it, Jimmy. Then again, let's go back over here. 1960, everybody, polka. Play it. She was afraid to come out. Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini. That's it. Yes, Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini. That's a mouthful. 160 over here, 95 over here, one category left. It belongs to Jimmy. Let's take a look together, shall we? It is Girly Show. Let's see what's behind there. Oh, 10 points. Here is the clue. January 1965. A group hit the pop charts with this song, and they took it to number one. 10 points. We think it's going to be easy. How much time, Gina? I'm going to give him seven. Seven seconds, sir. And I'm going to let her go for it. Okay. okay, here we go. Back over here. 1965. Girly show. Okay. Play it. My girl. That's it. The Temptations. Yes. My girl from 1965. Well, at the end of round one, it is 170 over here, 95 over here. Round two, right after this.